friends, Francesca here with Cornerstone Fitness and Health, and today's forward focus is all about the shoulders, more specifically a front and a lateral raise. And while those two exercises don't look overly complicated, it's really the details of those exercises that can make or break it, and honestly, ourselves as well if we're not careful. So I want to take the time to go over the proper setup and how to properly execute those movements. Our shoulders, we should be thinking about the first and the third leg of our tripod table of body functionality. The first one being core engagement, and the third one being that scapular stability, mobility, and strength. We need those two aspects when we're performing the front and a lateral raise for these reasons. Core engagement. If we don't have a rock solid core, we don't have a strong foundation to perform the exercise. And what ends up happening is we swing those weights to complete the movement. That gets that lower back engaged and without core engagement, we're gonna injure our low back and most likely our shoulders as well. Third, if we don't have that third leg, that scapular mobility, stability, and strength, then we don't lack the stability of the upper body to properly and safely perform the exercise in a full range of motion and using the appropriate muscles. So we need to think core and we need to think scapula when we're performing those two exercises, especially. But before I get into the setup and how to properly execute those moves, I want to make a reminder that we always, always, always want to warm up before we do any sort of exercise. And if you don't have a clue about how to warm up or what constitutes a warm up, check out last week's post where I took you through my own personal warm up. And hopefully this maybe will give you some ideas to create your own warm up. But even that being said, there are some exercises or some training when I do that I take a little bit extra time to work through some mobility drills, the shoulders being one of them. Whenever I'm doing an upper body workout that's going to include a lot of shoulder work, I do a couple extra mobility drills just to make sure all my muscles are on the same page. My three top favorite shoulder mobility drills are scapular push-ups, the band pull apart, and the band up and over. I have gone through those three exercises in detail previously in my scapular stability, mobility, and strength video, so you can go check that out. I will review them real quick right away just to kind of refresh your memory so you know. And then we'll go through and I will set up the front and the lateral raise. So, scapular push up, right, against the wall, shoulders down, core is engaged, no angle, no pressure, right, shoulders are down. We're gonna just squeeze the scapula together and relax back to neutral. Engage the scapula, notice that my arms shrunk, right, my elbows slightly bent, and relax, right? We'll squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. And we're looking again for the scapula to do the movement. I don't want to see the traps of my shoulders rise up. It's just a slight movement in those scapula. For our band pull apart, right? You're going to grab your tubing. You're going to wrap it around your hands. It's going to come out just to shoulder level. Shoulders are down, strong engaged core, and you're going to squeeze your scapula together to move the band apart. Right? Again, my traps aren't getting involved, my shoulders aren't rising towards my ears, it's my scapula that's doing the work. Again, I'll show you a different angle so you can see. Squeeze. Right? That's what's doing the work. Band pull up, band up and over. Right? You start down below, shoulders down, core is engaged, and I'm going to start to lift. Right? Keeping my shoulders down, I'm going to slightly pull out the bands. Right? And we might not have the range of motion to go up and over. And that's okay. What you're looking for is that ability and mobility through and around the shoulder joint. So if you can only raise that tube up here before you start to feel that little impingement, that's fine. Right? We're just looking to keep the scapula down and getting through that range of motion. So again, scapula push up, band pull apart, bands up and overs. Three great exercises and mobility drills to get your shoulder complex and all those muscles that attach to it ready to work for your upper body. So let's get into it. What is the setup? What should we be looking for when we set up our front and our lateral raise? Lucky enough, yay, the setup is the same for both, okay? So we want to make sure that we've got a nice stable base, we're evenly planted in our feet, we've drawn that belly button in and up, we've engaged our core, and our shoulders are down. We're going to go over the front raise first. That's the basic setup for both, right? Evenly planted, soft 
knees, core is engaged, shoulders down. You can't get much simpler than that. The problem is maintaining this setup when we start to move the weights. So we're gonna grab our weights, and we're gonna hold them at our side, going through that front brace. Again, check it. Nice and stable, sturdy, firm chunk, shoulders down, okay? Weights are gonna face you in front, and I like to do these exercises, both the front and the lateral raise unilaterally, meaning one arm at a time. Reason being, when we do this bilaterally, or both arms, we have a really big tendency to want to swing to get the weight. And even with your core involved, guys, that's not the proper method. Your chunk, your core should be stable, rock solid. The only thing moving is that arm from the shoulder joint. Okay, so we always, I always, not always, but most of the time, like to do these unilaterally so you can really focus on what muscles you should be using. And speaking of muscles using, the muscle that we're using for a front raise, okay, is your front deltoid. So you want to be feeling that in that front deltoid. You don't want to be feeling it on the top of your shoulder, okay? So nice strong engaged core, shoulders down, and we're going to lift one side at a time. And I'm going to be thinking about lifting from the front delt, the front of my arm to lift the weight up to shoulder level, pause, and lower with control. And you can do all the reps on one side, or you can alternate. Again, right? Notice that my body isn't moving front or back or side to side. It's a slow, controlled movement, and I'm feeling the working muscle coming from the front of my arm. Okay, so I'm going to go up, lower the shelf, and my shoulders are staying down, right? I'm not raising up. I've got a nice, strong, stable core here, okay? That's your front raise, right? We really want to make sure we're not seeing any of this movement. Rock solid through that core, so using that core. I mean, it's a bonus core workout when you think about it. Any exercise really is. Wink, wink. So, right? Strong and stable. Side lateral raises. Variation on a theme, really. What we want to be thinking about again, okay? Same setup. Nice and firmly planted on our feet. Core is engaged, but like I'm drawing in and up, and our shoulders are pulling down our back. With a lateral raise, my little caveat, my personal preference, instead of going completely out, right, to that 90 degree side, which can aggravate most of many of our shoulders, go to the corners of your room. Take a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Bring it in just a little bit. Reason being, your humerus inserts into that shoulder joint at a 45 degree angle, give or take, right? We're all looks a little differently. So sometimes this just feels so much more natural than that hard out to the side. Just the thought, my preference, try it out, see what you think. All right, so let's get on with this show. Nice, strong, stable, engaged. I'm gonna lift the corner of my room, and this time, with a lateral raise, we're using our medial delts. So I wanna feel this on the side of my arm, okay? So I'm thinking again, using the side of my arm, I'm gonna lift out, pause at the top, right shoulder level, and then lower with control. Again, I'm engaging this core. I'm really, really there now. I want to make sure that my body is stable and that I can use the proper muscles, that medial deltoid, to lift. So from the side, right? We're here. We're here. And you can see, turn to the back so you can see my scap having to stable, right? Stabilize. My shoulders are down. That scapula is stabilizing. It's drawing down and in, stabilizing my shoulder so that it can lift the weight so that that medial delt, last time, can lift the weight. Again, shoulders out of the ears, and I am lifting from the medial delt, right? And we're not seeing this swing or swinging. That's what we're looking for. That's it, guys. Simple as that, or detail oriented as that. That's the gist of it, my friends. We want to think of this torso grounding us, keeping us solid, so we can have the medial and the lateral raise, the front deltoid, okay, and a front raise, do the work. And to accomplish that, we want strong core, and we want a stable, strong, and mobile scapula that will allow that to take place, okay? Try it unilaterally, one arm at a time for both. 
The other catch is, guys, lower the weight when you're doing this at first. Try it out. We have a tendency to always want to go bigger, heavier, more. Sometimes that's not the case, right? Let's get our egos out the door. Heavier, bigger isn't always better. Take the time. Learn the muscle mechanics. Learn the movements. Allow your body to get stronger on its time, not on your brain's time. Trust me, I need to have that talk with myself a lot too. Okay? Your muscles will get bigger. They will get stronger. They will be able to carry that heavier weight. But if we swing to accomplish that, we're not gaining anything, guys. We're losing. So take a step back. Let your muscles get there on their time. That's it, my friends. You know it now. Go out, see how it is. I hope this was helpful and beneficial. That's always my main hope and cause. Why I put these videos together is for you guys. I want to make sure that you are knowing your body better and understanding how your body works to make it the best body you can achieve. As always, questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, please drop me